Hey guys, it's Lindsay, also known as By Me Fox, back with you again. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you've been here before, if you haven't, welcome to the randomness. I draw random things and I encourage you to draw along with, or just spend your time being creative or thinking about how you want to further your creative career, if you're someone like me. Um, today I want to talk a little bit about my Inktober experience, which was a mediocre one, and talk about how you kind of learn from your mediocre experiences. In case you haven't noticed, that's a theme on the channel. Learn from your experiences. It's pretty much a theme on my life. Um, for me, Inktober was a failure to plan, which happens a lot. Um, or I plan really optimistically and I'm like, yeah, I can totally get this done in this amount of time. And then anything that happens that throws it off, throws everything off. Um, one of the big things that I didn't plan for was to have a really rough uh, last week of the month. So, um, as you noticed, I didn't have a video done, I didn't get my um, Squirtle Pokemon done, any of that kind of stuff. A lot of stuff that I had planned on doing by the end of October, I didn't do. Um, because just weird little small things started popping up and being problems, so I let it kind of get away from me, unfortunately. But, I did enjoy Inktober. I don't usually do it as a um, social media show everybody type thing. I do it as a personal growth um, and I don't really, I, I, if I understand correctly, I don't even do it right. Um, when I talk about Inktober, I use my markers um, anytime I can. I use these little inks. Uh, I think you're actually supposed to write with these and like do calligraphy and shit. Oh, come on. Zoom. Zoom. There it is. Um, I have had a whole set of these for freaking ever. I've never opened them. Um, this was the very first time I ever opened them. And I love them. Um, I just used them with paintbrushes. I'm sure that's not how you're supposed to use them. And um, just shaking them up. I use little pipettes to uh, get some color out to mix up the colors on them. But yeah, it was really fun. I've never used them before. Um, I'll probably actually watch a video on how to use them now. But anyways, so for me that was the whole point of October was just kind of to experiment, use some different mediums that I hadn't used before, do some stuff I hadn't done before. Um, originally I planned to put everything in this book, but I think it's a moleskin. Yeah, it's a little moleskin multimedia, mixed media paper book. But I did the first one, which was poison. Poisonous? Poisonous. I did that one in this book, and I hate this paper. Um, this one is all Copic. Yeah, this one was done in all Copic Chows, and I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, sorry. But if you look, it's got this awful texture on it, and I really didn't care for that. Um, so that kind of bummed me out and was kind of a bad way to start because my whole original plan had been to do it in this book. Um, day two, I had scheduling conflict, which threw me way off, so I ended up drawing in my carry around sketchbook with a ballpoint ink pen that I usually carry around to sketch with. And I actually like the way it came out. It's got a lot of mo cool motion to it. Um, I don't know if you can tell what it is, but it's a like six winged serpent cre creature. And I, I like the way it came out. That was the only one that I had to do in my travel uh, notebook. The rest of them I was able to do in my main sketchbook or in separate paper or something. But um, it, <laughs> it kind of gave myself permission to go outside of my original plan on the second day which was a little dangerous. Um, third day was roasted, which if I'd have uh, known scorch was going to be a word, I would have planned this one for scorched instead of roasted. But I thought it was really cute and it was the very first time I ever worked with those liquid inks. Now it turns out they're a little too harsh for the paper. They just got real wobbly and stuff. And so at that point I abandoned the notebook completely. Day three. That's right. Didn't make it very far. Um, day four, I'm using watercolor paper and the liquid inks again, and this one was Spell. Uh, this one was definitely one of my favorite ones. I actually looked into doing bottle rendering and figuring out how to get that kind of look to it, so I like the way this one came out. Plus, it's a little bit self-promoting, which, I, you know, never a bad thing as an artist. Next up was Chicken. This one I did in the Copics. And the Prismacolor markers, yes, I still have Prismacolor markers, but I don't care. They're not great markers, but they do pretty good. 
Um, this one is obviously, if you know it, based on the Andromedus Rex uh, Jurassic Park poster. I thought that thing was adorable, breaking out of its shell. And so that's what I did there. Um, next one up was Drooling, which was the first one that I abandoned. At that point, I started moving around in whatever order I wanted, and I naturally did Exhausted next. That was supposed to be up for the 7th. It's kind of a weird, super expressive free drawing, which I haven't done in a while because that's not really how you work when you work digital. You've got so many chances to go back in and rework it that it loses that sketch element to it pretty quick. Um, next one up was Star, which I also didn't do. And then Precious, which I did, but only as a sketch in my uh, main sketchbook, in which I drew my dog as a Precious Moments which I think turned out pretty damn precious. Um, next one up was Flowing. Um, this one, I, the design is not great. It's so static and the, what is that? It's just weird blue liquid. Her eyes kind of, or her mouth kind of looks like she's dying. Her eyes are wonky. Yeah. Um, after Flowing was Cruel. I didn't really do a piece for that one. I did some sketches, but none of them were great, so I'm not going to pop them up. Uh, next one up was Whale, which I did, and I know I say funny, uh, which I did with as much white space as one human could leave on a piece of paper. I don't really know that that worked out, but I liked the colors, I liked the shape, and just thought it was pretty interesting. Um, after Well was Garden. Garden was hands down my favorite one. It's another one that's just super expressive. It's uh, the Prismacolor markers and then the liquid ink uh, around it. So it got a little, a little wobbly on the paper. It was a little too much for the paper. But I thought it was really cool and I love the way this texture came out on those brooks. Um, after that was Clock. I did some sketches of the Cuckoo Clocks but never really got anything. Um, another one that I struggled really hard, really hard with was Weak. Um, I don't like the term weak. I think even weak things have other strengths. Um, the only place I could think of for the word tea, or weak that was inappropriate was tea. I hate weak tea. Um, so I use this as an excuse to do kind of a metallic, I don't know that you can see that, rim. And a really cool texture. It kind of has a watercolor look. But I actually got it with the liquid inks, those Winsor Newton liquid inks. So that was pretty cool. I had done that before. Um, next up was Angular. I did her. Nothing too crazy, pretty straightforward. Um, I kind of overworked it so some of the ink got all over everything. Um, next one up was Swollen. Second time you'll see a Shiba Inu on this set. Um, I, when I looked up Swollen, I saw a bunch of pictures of dogs eat, uh, that had like eaten bees. And I thought that was a really cute way to go. Um, I tried to do this one originally in just with just the black ink and the hatching, but I went back in with color erase pencil, which I know is against the rule, but I don't care. All right, uh, next one up is bottle. Bottle I really liked too. Um, again, if I had planned this better, I probably wouldn't have done spell and bottle the way I did them. But that's what I did. I still think he turned out pretty cool. All right. Um, after that is Scorch, which I didn't do. Breakable, which I kind of did. Um, my original, or my drawing that you saw me do for Electra was originally sketched as a concept for Inktober. Um, originally, I had her holding a heart, which was really stupid, and then I had her holding a skull. It wasn't Electra, it was just kind of a generic uh, female character. And then I watched way too much Daredevil, so I decided to do Electra holding Matt's helmet. Um, it felt really appropriate since the whole season was about them breaking Matt, so that's what I did. Um, I don't know that that counts because it was digital art and it wasn't really, yeah, so I'm not, I'm not counting that. Um, drain I didn't do, Expensive I didn't do, Muddy I didn't do, and Chop I didn't do. I know, I was on a hell of a streak there. Um, I did do Prickly. Um, this one's based on a little prickly pear concept. Uh, I thought he turned out pretty cute. Again, doesn't really look like stuff I usually draw, but I like the way it came out. Um, next was Stretch, which I didn't do, and Thunder, which I drew. I don't know if you can even see that. 
Um, I drew it in the color race. I was ready to ink it, but I never actually inked it. I don't know what happened. Um, I like it enough. I am going to go back and ink, uh, ink it and kind of create like a thunder um, effect in the background. So hopefully that one will turn out. And then I didn't do gift. Double I did sketches for, but I'm not even going to show you the sketches because I hate the way they turned out so much. And Jolt, I don't care for either. I was super spent at this point and just wasn't creating great work. I do like the costume, but everything about the pose is awkward. The hand is horrible. Um, her eyes are pretty cool. Her face is okay, but yeah, just not, not great work. Not really what I'd want. And then, okay, for Slice, I actually did Slice as one of the original sketches. See if I can not show you what's next to it because it looks like shit. But um, I felt like it was an appropriate place to end because at the end of the process, that's kind of how you felt. Uh, I felt like I was running around like a headless chicken and so I thought that was a good place to end the month. So I went in and just colored her with the red and called it good. Um, I didn't even feel like transferring her to another piece of paper because so much of what I did for Inktober was more sketch and experiment oriented, I felt like it was completely acceptable to just leave it in a sketchbook, acknowledge that that's what it was, and move on. Do something better next time. So that was what I did and what I kind of learned with my Inktober. Um, look to see me doing more with the hand drawn stuff. Um, I'm not really sure how to film that yet, but I'm going to figure it out. Um, so we'll see more of that coming up. I am going to finish up the Pokemon, uh, or the Squirtle Witch Girl. That's probably what I'm going to start drawing right now. And yeah, that was my Inktober experience. Let me know how your Inktober went. If you just watched, if you participated, if you love what you did and you want to post link below, do that. If you hate the way it turned out and you just need a place to vent, do it below. We've all been there. We all know what it's like. I give myself a passing. Uh, on this one probably like a C or a D not a great passing, but I learned a little bit I experimented where I usually wouldn't have so that for me was just kind of a nice way to step out of my boundaries Give myself a chance to do something different moving forward, which is really cool. And I already did another piece with ink Let's see if this guy will go And so yeah, I already did a little couture critter dude with some inks that are weird and pearlescent. I kind of like the way he came out too. So he's gonna hang out behind me for a while. But anyways, I'm gonna get to creating my next thing. Let me know how your Inktober went. Let me know if you like this video. Please give it a heart. If you wanna see more of what I do, subscription's always appreciated. And that is it for me today. Thank you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.